Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Today I wanted to talk to you about my uh, canteen cup. Uh, I was issued this, this is a government issued uh, canteen cup, and I was issued this uh, a while ago when I was on active duty with the United States uh, Marine Corps, and it's been with me ever since. As uh, you can tell, it's uh, been used and abused, and not as pretty as it uh, once used to be, kind of like me, but uh, still uh, very serviceable and uh, ready to do the job, just like me. So this canteen cup's uh, been all over the world, uh, both while I was on active duty with the Marine Corps, all sorts of uh, different uh, countries, all sorts of different food. I mean, we would heat up our coffee in here, we would heat up, uh, heat up our MREs. Uh, if we were lucky enough to barter and trade uh, with other Marines from other countries and get some of their real food, you know, we would heat it up in here. It also has a little component that you can also buy that's a little stove uh, that you can put uh, heat tablets in and burn them. Um, I don't recommend that unless it is an emergency just because of all the uh, toxic overflow that you're going to get from that. And uh, basically I prefer using uh, something like the solo stove that's much cleaner and uh, fuel is uh, all over the place. Well, one of the other reasons why I uh, choose to maintain this uh, setup, obviously besides nostalgia, uh, is uh, the convenience factor. All right, I keep it uh, strapped here to the, uh, to the outside of my pack. All right, uh, to the Molly setup that it has on here. As you can tell, behind here, there are a couple clips. All right, so it makes it nice and convenient. And, uh, you know, just from the outside, without having to open my pack, I can have access to, let's say, the extra water that I have and access to my canteen cup. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, I have dogs, and uh, you know, when there's a lack of water sources, so to speak, um, you know, it always becomes an issue and I'd rather be overprepared uh, than to be caught out there without water uh, for my dogs and then having to give up my water for them, all that other stuff. So once again, this is nice and convenient because I'll keep my, uh, my hydration pack, all right, or bladder inside of the actual pack uh, for me. And, uh, and then I'll have this on the outside uh, for the dogs that I could also keep refilling, uh, whether I need to uh, filtrate the water or if there's an actual uh, potable uh, water source uh, along our route. Another key point for me is that I use the uh, Solo Stove Titan. As you can tell, my canteen cup uh, fits on there. If I were to use a titanium cup that's out there that fits underneath, uh, let's say, one of these Nalgene bottles um, that you see a lot now, uh, that cup won't fit on here, all right? The real estate is just a little bit too wide on these lips, all right? Where the canteen cup, you know, it'll uh, there's not much play there, but it'll stay on there for you, all right? And I've used that plenty of times uh, in the field already to, to heat up... Uh, water and, and do whatever I need with it. So uh, keep that in mind. A regular cup will not work on the Titan. It'll work on the uh, Solo Stove Light. All right. But if you do have the canteen cup, it'll work on the Solo Stove Light as well as the uh, Titan. So really not much else that I can say. All right. It's a canteen cup. It's super well made. Uh, you can tell these uh, handles, all right, or these uh, butterfly type handles are good to go. Uh, once again, uh, this canteen cup is old, all right, a couple decades, I would say at the very least. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. All right. We look for durability, especially when we're worried about our preparedness and uh, it Relatively in inexpensive. I think it's under 20 bucks uh, Remember it is the uh, government issued version. I'm sure you could find other knockoffs a little bit cheaper But uh, I always like to stick with the uh, government issued stuff when I can um, also uh, made in the USA Which is uh, always a plus and something that I look for. All right So if you're uh, in need for something to uh, heat up your water uh, used for cooking um, used for making your coffee, making your tea. Uh, this is a, an excellent choice, right? Uh, relatively light. I'll put the uh, specs in, in the blog. And uh, hopefully if this is something that you uh, have a need for, I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed. All right, hope you enjoyed this review.